So this lady that I've been doing work for says that she paid me $1,600 in the last week or two. Um, and she wants a deal for me to pick up a refrigerator, deliver it 20, 25 minutes away, and install it for $80. And it's like, no, I already gave you a deal. Um, I told you I'll do it for 120 bucks. That's a super fucking deal. You want me to pick up a refrigerator, uh, which is a liability already because I don't have movers insurance. If the bitch fall off my trailer, I'm responsible. So you want me to pick it up, deliver it 25 minutes, and install it for 120 bucks. I'm, I'm sorry, you want me to do it for $80. I said 120 which is a super deal. Uh, if anybody else, I charge double or triple that. You know what I'm saying? She's like, well, we paid you $1,600 in the last week or two, okay? And I've also provided you $1,600 worth of services in the last week or two as well with no recalls, no fuck-ups, no problems, no nothing. Straight reliability. You see what I'm saying? So that's, what are you telling me? You paid me and, and I gave you service. So what? You didn't just give it to me because you like me. I work for that. So she's like, uh, well, can you do it for 100 It's like, man, look, I'll do it for 100 but you niggas penny pension because y'all, that rent house that I'm taking that fridge to, that rent house is $6,000 per month that you're collecting on that rent house. That's none of my business, but you got the money. Y'all have multiple rent houses. You want to know where I stay? I stay in the hood. To get to my house, you got to hit three potholes and two curbs before you get to my house all the way in the back. See what I'm saying? I don't got money to be, uh, I'm not, I'm not like some successful business owner where I can, you know, just hand out deals left and right. I don't mind working with you, but why talk me down off of a hundred bucks, bro? It's a hundred fucking dollars, 120 bucks. Come on, man. Nigga, that Taco Bell got that money. Can you do a deal for me? So you want me to use my truck, my gas, my labor, my bag, my trailer, my time to go do something for $80. Does that make sense? I got to block off my schedule. I can't take no more jobs during that time window I'm fucking with y'all, which might take me about two or three hours to do that job. So I got to block off my time schedule for two or three hours, which means I can't go nowhere else and get no other money for two or three hours fucking around with $80. That's not fair, bro. You, 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 I feel like you're trying to handle me because I'm a small business owner and it ain't happening. It's not happening. You're going to pay me what I want or shit. Call somebody else. I don't, I do mind losing your business. I do want you as a customer, but you're not going to handle me, bro. I asked for a specific amount. That's what I want, man. That's what I'm worth. I'm bringing my truck, my time, my labor, my tools, my dollies, my strap, my expertise. Because I used to be in the moving business for six years. I know how to move shit professionally. See what I'm saying? And guess what? You can trust me. You can't trust everybody. You can trust me to get it done when it's supposed to be done, how it's supposed to be done, no fuck-ups. The tenant likes me. You see what I'm saying? I'm a valuable person. I'm not just some average drug. You can trust me not to run off with your refrigerator after I pick that bitch up. I'm going to deliver it where it needs to be delivered. Come on, baby. Pay me. It's only $120, but we agreed on 100 bucks. I'm like, all right, man, just give me 100 but see, people with money do that. Like they they hit me up yesterday and they're like, well, can you do it for free? I'm like, no, I can't do it for free. Since we're giving you the other refrigerator, okay, well shit, keep the other refrigerator. It's broken anyways. I'm gonna have to fix it in order to resell it. So I mean keep it. But no, I'm not doing it for free. And so I was like, uh, no nah, man, I'm not doing it for free, you know. Uh I do it for 120 dollars she said they didn't want to spend that. So, oh, well, she said, don't spend it then. You know how much it's going to cost you to hire a moving company to go over there and pick up that uh, refrigerator and deliver it? They're going to charge you a two-hour minimum at whatever their rate is. And I'm just going to guess two hours plus gas probably going to cost you about $250 to pick up one fridge and deliver that hoe. Or if you get a deal, they're going to charge you about $175. You see what I'm saying? Or you can find some local joke and, and he'll probably do it for 100 but you want somebody that's, come on, man. I'm just saying, like, why, why are you trying to handle me? I'm a valuable person. A hundred dollars, man, that's, that hundred dollars going to be gone as soon as I put that shit in my gas tank. And you want it done ASAP. You want the shit done today. It's 1130. 
I got jobs for the rest of the day, and then you want me to go home, get my trailer, get my straps, get my dolly, go cross town, go pick up the refrigerator, dr drive that bitch across town, all this shit for a hundred dollars. I ain't no hundred dollar ass nigga, man. I don't do shit for a hundred dollars. Matter of fact, my customers pay me a hundred dollars. My customer pay me a hundred. Turn right onto South Buckner Boulevard. In one thousand feet, turn left onto Bruton Road. You want me to do? Come on, baby. I value our relationship, but I don't think you value your relationship with me. We're not friends. This, these are business transactions. I'm not your friend. We're not but buddies. We don't. Turn have left onto Bruton Road. Don't do nothing to that. I provide a service and you pay for it. And if you don't like it, you can call somebody else's service and it's not going to be as great as mine. Straight up. That's why you keep calling me back. Cause my Continue on Bruton Road for one mile. I have the best fucking service, bro. Reliable, dependable, honest, and trustworthy. You can't find that in people. But you can find that here at Urban Brothers. And you're trying to handle me. But check this. You're going to need me before I need you. So you... This this will be the only favor that I do. And if we keep up this type of relationship, I'm gonna cut this shit short. You gotta hire somebody else. I'm, I hate to lose that money, and I hate to lose you as a customer, uh, and, and I hate to lose that future work. But it is what it is, man. I gotta stand on mine. I'm a business owner. And I have business owner bills, bro, and they're not fucking cheap. Look at my fucking truck, bro. My shit dirty as hell. I can't even I can't even can't even afford for somebody to come and detail my work truck, bro. I ain't got money. Why? Cause niggas like you wanna pay me a hundred dollars. You know how much it cost me to detail my fucking 2016 rim? They'll probably charge me $150, $200 to detail this bitch. And I can't do it because I not set up here and took a job for a hundred dollars. But yeah, man. I'm just saying, uh, charge your worth and stand on that shit. Right now, I'm driving to the hood. I'm in the hood. I'm in the hood. I just left a lady house, old black lady. And I know she can't afford the service, but she wanted that trustworthy, reliable, dependable, honest service. So she hired me for $120, knowing she can't afford it, but she got that best service. So I just left her house. And now I'm going to another house in the hood. Right across the street from H. Grady Spruce High School. That's right smack dab in the middle of the road, bro. Now, in right a quarter mile, turn right onto North Prairie Creek Road. They spent $400. About 400 probably a little bit more. Fixing their refrigerator. In the hood. And you, ma'am, are not in the hood. You a couple of blocks away from SMU College in Dallas. Turn right onto North Prairie Creek Road. SMU College in Dallas. And you got this rental house, which is a fucking mansion to me. That bitch is two stories big as hell. Nice ass house. Continue on North Prairie Creek Road for three miles. For me, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm a little guy. Don't handle the little guy. Handle the big guys, man. But that's it.